Delray Beach, not all it's cracked up to be. It's got pros, it's got cons, and I'm going over that today, so stick around. What's up everybody, it's April Laura, your Florida Realtor, right here in Florida and in Delray Beach today. And I'm talking all about the pros and cons of living in Delray Beach. So if this is your first time to my channel and you wanna know everything there is about working, eating, sleeping, playing, and living in Delray Beach, then make sure you tap that subscribe button and ring the little bell so you're notified every time I do a new video because it's pretty much all I talk about. My team and I love helping people understand Florida living, moving to Florida, and we love helping people relocate here. We've specialized in it, so make sure you give us a call, send us a text, shoot us an email, somehow get in touch with us because we've got your back when you're moving to Florida. Now let's go talk about the pros and cons of Delray Beach. Delray Beach has a lot to offer. You've probably heard of it and there are people flocking here. Delray Beach, very similar to Boca Raton in the sense of it's been developing for many, many, many years. The city has been behind that growth and behind the development, which has really led to an incredible small town with a big city feel. There are incredible establishments in Delray Beach, people flocking here, we have better hotels here. People absolutely love coming to Delray Beach, whether it's visiting, spending the winters here, or moving here like you may be thinking about doing. So the city has a, a lot to offer, but let me just explain. It's located in the southern part of Palm Beach County, and it's just north of Boca Raton, which is kind of nice because you can access a lot of great areas in Boca Raton if you live in Delray Beach. I find that one of the best malls in the county is Town Center Mall, which is located in Boca Raton. And it's really nice to be able to go there if you live close or even if you don't live close, but the closer you live there, the easier access, right? You also have really good proximity to the airport, to other city, large cities like Fort Lauderdale and Miami, you just have to go further south. And then if you wanna to go to any of the other cities in the north or in the middle of the county, you have easy access to that too. The downtown is located completely east and it's a whole avenue of shops, restaurants, entertainment. It's really awesome. I mean, it's a great, great little city. If you've ever been there, you know. And then when you're going east to west, there's kind of like residential and shopping and commercial in between and a lot of 55 and older as well until you get all the way west and then you'll find some newer developments as far as housing and also commercial and retail spaces. So it really has a lot to offer. It's not a huge city. It's about 70,000 and change. And, and that was a report from 2022 that I looked up today. But population grows significantly in the wintertime because of all the snowbirds that we do have. Now let's get into the pros and cons of Delray Beach. So number one is going to be the beach. Honestly, I think that Delray Beach is the most beautiful beach we have in Palm Beach County, kind of. We have a lot of great beaches all up and down the coast, and we've got some great beaches up in Jupiter, I'm in the Juno Beach area, Lake Worth Beach I go to, Boca Raton has beautiful beaches. The reason why I love Delray Beach is number one, it's beautiful, it's really wide, so you have a lot of wide areas of sand before you get to the water. There's beautiful sea grapes and sea oats and all kinds of trees and things and shrubbery that just lends to a really beautiful environment. And then all that sand where people can sprawl out and grab some sun, hang out with their friends, play some Kadima or throw a Frisbee around. You'll find a lot of people walking, jogging along the beach, doing exercise, maybe doing a little yoga. There are all kinds of groups that meet out on the beach. So it's a very popular place and people utilize it every single day, every minute of the day. With that being said, it does get very crowded. So if you do go, a lot of people like to either watch the sunset or watch the sunrise. If you get there before eight o'clock, you will have some free parking, which is unheard of at Delray Beach. So until eight o'clock, you have free parking. So you can go, I know people that go almost every morning and they watch the sunrise. I don't get to do that. I actually like going to the beach at sunset because I feel like it's mostly busy during the day. I like to end my days there when and if I can. And I really like to just wash the day off 
helping me enjoy the beautiful sounds of the ocean, the smells and the visuals. I mean, it's just absolutely gorgeous. Now, with that being said, it brings me to my first con. So crowding. Delray Beach is so popular that there are people everywhere, especially in the winter time. But in the last couple of years, it's kind of been almost year round. So you'll find a lot of people that have a second home here and they'll come throughout the year. Definitely gonna come in the winter time when it's the most beautiful. Then you have your snowbirds, you have people that are just visiting here, you have spring breakers, you have all kinds of people here all the time and the draw here is just like unstoppable. Everybody wants to be in Delray Beach because they've made so many great places to visit and enjoy. So it's a wonderful place to enjoy and everybody wants to be here, which means everything's crowded, including the beach. So. If you get there before eight o'clock, great. You'll get some free parking only until eight, but after that you have to pay. You know, most people by like 11, 12 o'clock, it's packed. You'll do circles around and you'll have to look for parking. There are a few spots that the locals know, but there's only a few parking spaces that are kind of free and that are close by. So it's really hit and miss if you're gonna find one depending on what time you go. So along with the beach area, there's just not a lot of parking. They have added some parking garages. And again, the locals know a few places. I know a few places that I always hit up and I'm also part of the local gym there. So sometimes I, I park in the, in the gym parking lot. But you can always grab a parking garage or along Atlantic Avenue when you go out for dinner or you're gonna have a night on the town, there's quite a few places that you can valet park and it's usually around 10 to $15. They'll give you like a discount if you're going to one of the uh, restaurants that support the valet. So, you know, that's an option too. But if not, just find a parking spot somewhere or in the garage and walk. So that's one thing when I go out in Delray Beach, I can't really wear my really pretty uncomfortable heels <laughs> because there's gonna be a lot of walking and depending on where I park, it's just an issue. I definitely have to valet it if I've got some heels on and I'm not going far, but that's something that you should know. And also, know that you sh one block off of the avenue, right? So Atlantic Avenue is where all the main shops and restaurants and entertainment is going to be. But one block off of the avenue, the parking is free. So if you don't mind walking, and usually I don't if I have flats on or comfortable shoes, you just park like one block off the avenue. But honestly, it's getting so crowded that sometimes you can't even find that. So just know that it is crowded. The restaurants are crowded, especially during high season, which is pretty much December to April. Everything's crowded. You're gonna wait for line at restaurants unless you know somebody or unless you've made reservations in advance. There are gonna be lines pretty much everywhere for to get a drink, to go to the beach, to park, there's gonna be lines. So it's a little inconvenient at times. I guess we've just made that city so good that everybody wants to be there. Speaking of entertainment, that's gonna be my number two pro. I mean, there's endless things to do in Delray Beach. It is a small town, so you might get bored with it eventually, but if you're not there all the time or you visit that city and then go to other areas, there's so much to do. There's great restaurants. There are restaurants popping up all the time. I think there's more restaurants than parking, quite frankly. There's also the Delray Beach Marketplace. So there's actually two Delray Beach Marketplaces. One is completely east, downtown and newer, and that's the food hall. It's actually one of the largest food halls in Florida. And then there's a Delray Beach Marketplace that's all the way out west, which is a whole kind of development of retail, shopping, restaurants, and it's got like a bowling alley and bars and all kinds of stuff. So on either end of the city, you have the Delray Beach Marketplace. They're just two different things, but both are very enjoyable. Also in downtown on the east side, you've got all kinds of shopping, you've got live music venues. So there's Johnny Brown's, there's Tin Roof, that's been kind of a newer addition in the last two to three years. And then there's a local place called Third and Third and not a lot of tourists go there. So if you like live music and you wanna go to a local place, 
check it out. Along with that, there's always arts festivals. I always talk about the green market, then other festivals also. Delray Beach is very known for the festivals. In fact, at some point they had too many festivals. They started moving some of the festivals to different cities in Palm Beach County because every other weekend or every weekend, the Atlantic Avenue and all of the surrounding little streets were being shut down. It was causing too many issues with traffic. And you know, then the retailers were not getting all the foot traffic and things like that. So they have moved a few of them, which has helped, but Delray Beach is known for their festival. So if you like a good art festival, food festival, all kinds of festival, there's a garlic festival. Actually, I think they moved that one, but there's all kinds of festivals to go to. Now the second con that I'm going to talk about are the school systems, the public school systems. Delray Beach, if you check on greatschools.org and niche.com, you will see that they just don't have as many A-rated schools as you'll find in some other areas in Palm Beach County. So if you're a family and you're looking for public schools that have A ratings, check those sites out and do your due diligence. And you may find what I found, which is not as many A-rated schools as some other areas that are well known for really good A-rated schools in Palm Beach County. If you need any help with that, I have the links in the description box so you can check those out, but it's not like well known for or the best schools in the area. So there are, of course, a lot of private schools that you can choose from. So if a private schools are an option for you and that's what you're looking for, then you've got some good choices from what I understand. Also, I would just, if you're a family looking to relocate to the area, social media is a great way to ask some locals questions. If you're not coming here and you're remote, you can kind of join some local groups. There's all kinds of local groups in Delray Beach that you can join and you can ask questions to the locals, people that are raising children maybe the same age as you are and that live in the area and I'm sure they'll give you some great advice. So the number three pro is we have such an active lifestyle here in Delray Beach. When you're here and you live here, you're always out. You want to go outside, enjoy the beautiful scenery, enjoy the people, enjoy the sun, the fun, the beach, the restaurants, the bars. I mean, honestly, you can have a little bit too much fun down here in Delray Beach. And I know a lot of people that come to Florida that actually have come here on vacation and they end up living here. I'm a native, so I don't understand that, but there is a lot of fun to be had in Florida in general and Delray Beach boasts of the best of the best as far as fun, great places, beautiful areas, beautiful build outs, great shopping, great food and you know just everybody kind of knows each other so because it's kind of like a small town so you have a lot of relationships that you know you build in the area, lots of locals know each other, you know everybody from the gym goes to the same bars, Every, all the bartenders know everybody, the retail, everybody that's in the area kind of knows everybody. It's a very small town feel and there's just so much great outdoor living, active lifestyle, whether it's biking, skating, jogging, walking, exercising outside. You know, I'm part of a gym downtown and we run to the beach some Saturdays. We do boot camp outside. The new Ray Hotel has an incredible build out and we do boot camps there every Saturday morning. There's yoga there a few times a week. So there's just a great outdoor living and outdoor atmosphere and Delray Beach does it better than any other city in Palm Beach County. With that being said, the number three con is gonna be cost of living. So it is not inexpensive at all to live in Delray Beach. In fact, it's pretty expensive. If you are living in the downtown area, then you're either in a condo or townhouse or maybe a small little cottage. Or if you're in a single family home, there's some great neighborhoods that are very popular and beautiful, like Ida, Del Park, all kinds of places, but they're pricey because you're pretty much golf cartable or walkable to the avenue. And the avenue is where all the action is. You wanna grab breakfast, you wanna grab a drink, you wanna go meet up with your friends, you wanna go to the gym, to the Starbucks, what have you. It's all right there on the avenue. You wanna go shopping, you wanna go to the beach. It's all walkable. So we don't have a lot of walkable areas and cities in Palm Beach County. So that makes it very attractive and very expensive. So not only is the cost of living expensive, but 
with all these beautiful new establishments, they cost a good amount of money to enjoy. So you should know that that's all in the downtown area. And then again, if you go all the way out west, it's all new construction and new construction it has gone through the roof so you've got dakota out there you've got lotus which is i mean the price it's all new construction dakota's already sold out lotus they are still building but they're well over the, in the millions right now and also even some of the older new construction like tuscany those houses used to sell in the honestly high fours to sixes you know 500 600 000. and now they are going in the high sixes sevens and up to the 900s it's crazy so it's not inexpensive the proximity to downtown and just to be in delray beach is what you're paying for and that just says a lot about the location and everything it has to offer but you should know it is not cheap The number four pro is gonna be the Delray Beach Tennis Center. This center is really incredible. They've got public courts there and they host championship tournaments like the Delray Beach Open. They have 14 clay courts and six hard courts. I have a really good friend, John, who's the tennis pro there and he is always busy. There's all kinds of tennis pros. If you wanna take lessons, if you wanna just go hit some balls or if you wanna go see a great tennis event. Now that does lend to a lot of traffic when there's championship events that are there, but that's just kind of part of being in an area where you're gonna have you know, a great international event. And that leads me into the fourth con, which is traffic. Oh my goodness, I kind of touched on this a little bit earlier, but now I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about not just the downtown area in East Delray, but also going from east to west and west to east. So our cities run east-west, and I don't know which were sometimes, driving on I-95 or the Turnpike, which both go north-south, or driving east-west, because there's so many lights, and there are a lot of 55 and older communities, so, and there's a lot of snowbirds, there's a lot of tourists, so, the traffic is just like, ugh, like it's just, it takes so long to go from the east to the west or from the west to the east. So you should know this and be ready and definitely have some proper timing when you're planning trips like this, but traffic can really be a bear. And if you do find yourself downtown, look for the little blue signs that say downtown bypass. Cause if you're going like east, right, right when you hit Swinton, you can make a right and go the back way all the way down to almost the bridge and it, you'll just skip over all that downtown traffic because downtown traffic is just bumper, 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 bumper to bumper. So that's a little tip. And then when you're coming from the beach, going back west, there's another downtown bypass where you can go one block off of the avenue and kind of miss some of that downtown traffic. So keep that in mind next time you're in town. Number five is gonna be the art scene in Delray Beach. It is known historically to have a very heavy art scene. There's Pineapple Grove, there's Old School Square, which is a historic campus that has a theater, art museum, and a creative art school. And also there's all kinds of festivals that go on right there at Old School Square. And there's all kinds of concerts and all kinds of great things that happen right there at Old School Square. And if you go back into Pineapple Grove, that's the art district. So definitely look up the art district next time you're here and check out where like Artist Row is. There's a whole area back there. Not a lot of people know about it. They used to have like Friday art kind of wine walks and stuff like that. They don't have that anymore, but you can buy some local art from local artists and they even have art classes and all kinds of things. You can see within Delray Beach, there's all kinds of art statues, local artists that have put things up. The city has displayed a lot of this art just to showcase that this is the type of town it is. So I think that's definitely a pro and I love the fact that it's heavily into art and our local artists are able to express themselves and showcase their beautiful artwork throughout the city. The last con I have is that there aren't enough, in my opinion, waterfront restaurants. So in a few other areas in Palm Beach County and throughout Florida, 
there's a lot of waterfront dining. In Delray Beach, really only have about two restaurants. There's Deck 84, which is on the Intercoastal and right there on the bridge on the west side. And then there's a newer restaurant that just opened up. It's called Meso Beach. And that's on the east side. And that place has been a few different places in the last several years. Nothing seems to stick, but this place is really nice. It's a beautiful build out and hopefully it will stick because we really only have like two waterfront dining. So if you have a boat, you can pull up and grab something to eat, some drinks, hang out with friends and then take off on your boat, which is an incredible advantage we have living in South Florida. And if you compare it to other areas, let's just say Jupiter, because Jupiter has a lot of boating going on. There are several waterfront dining areas that you can go to. And I find that really fun because you can kind of like, you know, restaurant hop on your boat. And we just don't have that in Delray Beach. We just have the intercoastal waterway that goes north, south, and two restaurants to choose from. So although two is better than none, it's not as many as other cities. But in order to find that perfect place that you may be thinking of or wanting to go see, or maybe an area you don't know about, make sure you give us a call, send us a text, shoot us an email, somehow get in touch with us because we've got your back when you're moving to Florida. And until next video, I'll catch you later. Too good. There's also the Delray Beach. Um, there's also the Delray Beach. There's also the Del, and there's a great, Hmm. No, hold on. Restaurant that just opened up. It's called Meso Beach. Meso Beach. Meso Beach. Meso. That's all I'm saying about that.